Mr. Gottlieb here with another algebra video for you. Today I'd like to talk to you about finding an expression to represent a sequence of numbers. Let's imagine that we were given a sequence of numbers like 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, etc. The first thing you want to do with a sequence of numbers like this is see if there's a pattern. And it looks like, yeah, each of these numbers is going up by 3 each time. So that's akin to having a slope of three. There's almost like a change of up, you know, up three over one, up three over one. And, and if you're not sure, if you're like, ah, that seems kind of like fuzzy logic. Well, let's imagine this is term number one, term number two, term three, term four, term five, term six. And let's pretend that these were X's and Y's. Well, now I think it makes it a little more clear. Okay, this is going up by one each time, and this is going up by three, and my Slope formula says that it should be rise over run, so the y's go on top, the x's go on the bottom. Okay, that, all right, that seems logical. The question becomes, though, how do you find the initial value, the y-intercept, if you will, for this sequence of terms? Well, we know that x equals zero for a y-intercept, because if you recall, there's a graph like this, and whenever you're crossing the y-axis, we've not moved left or right of the origin, so our x equals zero. So we need to go back a step using our slope and figure out, okay, what would be a logical starting point for this? Well, since we're going up three each time, let's go back three to negative one. And we can see that, okay, if I add three to that, yeah, sure, I still go to two and then add three to that, I get five. That does seem like a plausible starting place. So negative one is our y-intercept, which means we have an expression of 3x minus 1. Let's see if it works. The fourth term in the sequence should be 4 times 3, which is 12 minus 1. Yep, that's 11. The sixth term should be 6 times 3, which is 18 minus 1. Yep, that's 17. So if you were asked, hey, what's the 30th term in this sequence? The 30th term would be found by taking, that's my horrible attempt at an error there, 3 times 30 minus 1. Well, 3 times 30 is 90, minus 1 gives us 89. And if you're not doing anything this afternoon or evening or whatever you're watching this, maybe you want to sit there and write out 30 terms of this, starting with 2 as our first term, and see if you do get 89 for that. But I think you can trust me that this expression is sound. One thing you want to watch out for is negative numbers. You do want to make sure that if you're looking at negative numbers like negative 6, negative 10, negative 14, negative 18, etc. You want to make sure that they, you are catching that they are actually going down, they're not going up. So the decrease here is by 4, not an increase of 4. That is a, occasionally an issue for people because they think, oh, they look like they're getting bigger, but in actuality they're moving further to the left, they are getting smaller. Uh, so in this case, if we wanted to finish this problem, we have a slope of negative 4, so that's going to be connected to the x, or a change of negative 4, if you will. And if we go back one, we're actually adding four to figure out what our initial term was, so that would be negative two. Yeah, that makes sense. Negative two minus four gives us negative six, minus four gives us negative 10, so this is a minus two here. That's our expression. And, you know, for instance, if we wanted the 12th term here, to find the 12th term, we would take negative four times 12 minus two. That's negative 48, minus two is negative 50. That would be the 12th term in this sequence. Uh, the only other thing, piece of advice that I would offer you is to make sure that your initial term that you find, you know, if this was your first term, your initial term should be logical based on what you have here. If you had put, let's say you said, oh, okay, I know this is going down by four, so I'm gonna put negative 10 here. Well, it doesn't make sense for the pattern to go negative 10, negative six, negative 10, negative 14, negative 18, at least not in my world, I don't know about yours. So this should be a consistent jump of whatever expression uh, or whatever term change you're seeing, whatever rate of change is occurring. Much like this one, we said that it's going 2, 5, 8, 11. So to go backwards, 3 would be negative 1. You wouldn't want to put a 5 here because that would not make sense. I hope that helps. Have a great day. Thanks.